You're smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Hi mom. Hi Mary. Yeah, so today is uh Thursday, August the 20th. Yeah. And um the reason I'm videoing you today is that we talked at length on Tuesday um, about your wishes. And I just wanted to know, you know, if it's okay that we put your wishes on video so sure. that it's Nan okay. Okay, so that others will understand this is what you want. And so I don't get it screwed up, you know. Because I don't want my wishes to be in the way of anything that you want. Right? Yeah. Okay, so how do you feel today? I feel fine about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just, I mean, it's not a big deal. We're going to go through it quick. Okay, because I wrote down what the things that you said the other day. So the first part, wish number one, is about the person I want to make the health care decisions for me when I can't make them for myself. And so I wanted to remind you that you had made Nancy and me your durable power of attorney. Yes. So that if you get into a place where you can't talk or make any decisions, that we can make those decisions for you. So do you still want Nancy and me to be those people? Yes, I do. Okay. And, um, you know, that includes uh, making, you know, any decisions to you about your medical care or medical services and um, instructions that you have given us and your consent to do the things that we think are the, the right thing for you. And I just, you know, reminded you the other day that, you know, a while back, you and me and Nancy went over your advance directive and your do not resuscitate uh, no feeding tube, no heroic measures for, you know, things that happen when, yeah. when the end of your life may come. So do you still feel that you want it to be just a natural? That's right. Okay, great. Okay, so that's, that's wish number one. So that's easy. We got through that. Um, so wish number two, um, is that uh, it's it kind of fits in with what we just said you know you don't want to be put on life support is that right if, right if you get to the point where something happens in your in your final hours or days or whatever um, life support meaning you know the thing where they put it down your throat and make you breathe and and um, feeding tube and things like that you would you prefer not to have life support in case, you know, you're close to death or in a coma or have permanent brain damage. You choose not to have life support. Is that right? That's right. Okay. All right. That's the worst part. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> so wish number three then um, is how you, how comfortable you want to be in the, you know, should you come to one of those stages? And so I asked you all of these questions and you basically said yes to them. I don't know, would you like me to go through those questions again? You can. Okay. Um, I don't wanna be in pain. I'm gonna right. be kept comfortable. That's, that's right, okay. Um, and you wanna be able to be given, you know, um, your caregivers to do whatever is to help if you haven't, shortness of breath or nausea or depression or hallucinations you want to maybe give it a medication or something to keep you comfortable and calm yeah okay you understand what I mean on that do you understand what I mean on that I understand you're taking you're saying I want to be comfortable and not in pain. Right. And um, things like, here's the other things. I want to have, you know, if I'm hot, I want a cool, moist cloth put on my forehead. I want to be kept warm if I'm cold. I want my mouth and lips to be kept moist with, you know, uh, those little ice chips or little suckers. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. 
You want to be kept clean with warm baths and and um, me and I asked you about your favorite music the other day. Do you remember that? I remember that, but I didn't have any favorite music. Would you like music to be played, like soft music in the background of some sort, or like Sarah Brighton? Sarah Brighton would be nice. Yeah. In the background. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, any and you would like to have some religious readings done if we have some, um, you know, Bible verses or poems or a st favorite story or uh, would you like us, you know, to talk to you about your family and and sure. your life and hold your hand and be by your side and. Um, you know, no, and no crying, <laughs> just oh. cheerful and positive. Okay. Is, would that be good? Sure. Yeah. Um, and one, the one thing I did ask you that you didn't really like, two things you didn't like, uh, it said, I want to be massaged with warm oils. And you said, no, I don't really want that. You don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you also had said um, people, you know, having people with you all the time. You said you didn't really felt, feel like you needed that all the time. Like 24-hour vigil or something. No. Okay. All right. And so that's wish number three. It's just how you want it to be in whenever that comes, your final hours. Are you still okay with this now? Yeah. Okay. So the... Um, Basically, actually, that was wishes three and four, you know, how comfortable and what you want it to be like, how you want to be treated, you know, during your final time, whenever that is. We don't know when that is. That's up to you and, and your, your God, right? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, wish number five, which is the five wishes, is about what you would like people to know. And so here's the thing that I we talked about the other day. This is what you want everybody to know. Okay, so I'm gonna read them, okay? Are you all yeah. right with that? Okay, do you, do you need some help getting something out of your pocket there or? No. Okay. So I wish to have my family and friends know that I love them. That's true. Okay. I wish to be forgiven for the times I've hurt my family, friends, and others. Yes. Okay. I wish to have my family, friends, and others know that I forgive them for when they may have hurt me in my life. Right. Okay. Um, I wish for my family and friends to know 